What's up, y'all? It's Allie. Welcome back to my channel, Allie Cat TV. So, um, I'm still like, I don't know what's going on, on my computer. I honestly think I need a new one. So, my editing, I'm not gonna have a little intro to say Allie Cat TV. We just gonna jump into the video. So, and we're gonna further jump into it because, honey, we gotta get ready for Christmas. So, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. Y'all, 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 I'm just so excited I can't talk. I got everything I wanted. I'm wearing one of my gifts, but we just gonna act like that this not on my wrist because Christmas haul is coming. But we going to my family's house at three. It, right now it's, it's 12 and I was on live and I do my makeup, but I was like, why not record a video? So I just went ahead. I already showered and stuff because I knew I was gonna take the longest. So yeah, and we're gonna do my hair and like, I'm gonna speed everything up. So I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair because we have limited space, but if I can figure out a way, I'll throw the hair in there, but if not, and my hair, I'm going to be straightening my hair with another gift. Look, it's just so many sneak peeks. But anyways, um, like, comment, subscribe, share the video because I know that you're going to enjoy it. And let's get into this Christmas beat because, honey, we got to get ready. Santa's blessed me. Now I'm going to bless him. <laughs> and just ju ju watch the video. All right, boom. So I went ahead and did, like, my face, like, my base because I don't know how, like, um, these YouTubers be having their whole face and the video be like 10 minutes. I, I can't do it. I haven't gotten there yet. So I just went ahead and did my base and yeah, so we're just about to get into it. And I'm going to just do like a talk. I think I'm going to just do a talk through or whatever. We're going to see how it goes. So I'm using my Modern Renaissance palette and let me just take this out because it's going to be falling this brush and I don't have time for it. So the first color I'm going to start with is this, uh, it's called, I think, Red. Real, real gar, real gar. It's like an orange color, and I already like my contour is kind of in my. I take it all the way up. So, but if you watch that video, it's on one of my vlogmas. So yeah. So we're just gonna do it, and we're just gonna take it all in that crease. And this is just like a transition color. This is just to help everything blend, and yeah, and it's just there. And I just like the orange, and I did this look. The look that I'm about to do, I did it on live before. So, if you follow me, you've already seen this look, but yeah. So now that I got that done, I just kind of, I put it on, not like, I don't just slap it on, like, I'm putting it on with a purpose, but it doesn't have to be, like, perfect. So next, I'm going to go in with, like, this slanted brush, and I've done this look so many times. Like, the base that I'm doing is, like, my everyday base. I just changed the lid color, so that's why the color's already on it. But now, I go in with Red Ochre, what is this? Love letter and the Vintian red, whatever. That was three like red, orange, pink colors, and I just mix them. As you can see, I'm hitting pan on most of them. I love this palette. So yeah, and then I just kind of I come right here where my crease is, my real crease, and I just kind of swirl those colors in. So and you can see right there the same thing on the other eye and i don't know how people be doing they do one eye completely then come back and do the other eye girl i can't do that i gotta do it together because it's not and the other eye they're gonna be looking like step cousins not sus not real cousins they're not even gonna be sisters they're gonna be step cousins that's how much not alike they gonna look like honey so that's that and then i'm just kind of like blending it I'm just keeping it right here in my crease and just going back and forth. You see it? Oh wow, that's messy. I'm recording a video. Can I call you back? You hear me? All right. Yeah. So, just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this like fluffy brush and I'm going to take this brown right here and it's called Cypress, Cypress Umber. I'm just going to take it like dab it and then you're going to come kind of right here like this V area right here because we're not doing a full cut crease, we're doing like a half cut crease. So we're just going to put it right here on the outer V and I'm kind of like, this is really just um the base for the black because i'm putting the black on and i don't want the black to just be like black so this way it'll have something to blend on it so i'm just kind of dabbing this on i'm not really blending it i'm just kind of 
keeping it right here keeping it real low right here in this corner and this is just gonna help with me blending the brown I mean blend it bl 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 bl. it's gonna help me with blending the black so now I'm gonna go in with this Lorac Pro baby throwback Lorac Pro palette this should just show you if you go back to when I first started my channel I've had this palette that long so this is just show you like you don't have to keep buying palettes like every time a new palette come out you don't have to buy it like and I go on with this black and this is like the best black I've used like it's not ain't got no glitter or nothing in it and I go on with this elf brush the best like blending brush and I just wherever I put that brown I kind of just put it right on top of it and I'm just kind of tapping it because I'm going to blend it in with another brush. So I'm just kind of like right there. Tap off the excess because this black is so pigmented. You don't need any excess. And then you kind of just, it's like, it's like I did a, um, like an outline with the brown. And then now I'm just coloring it in right here. So now I'm going to take a blending brush with nothing on it. And I'm just gonna blend this. And I'm kind of just trying to keep it in this corner. I'm not gonna take it in too far because like I said, we're doing like a we're doing a half cut crease, we're not doing a full cut crease. And just blend and then then we're on the this the next couple steps is just gonna be blending, like this is all you're gonna be doing. So just go back right here, like where it is, and you don't wanna go higher than that. You just like literally just blending it out, like like and then don't hold the brush like right here because that's too much pressure you want to have it kind of like loose and you just take it in you just loosely blending it because you don't want to go too far and have black i don't want black on any of these right here so why does everybody want to call me hey i'm recording a video can i call you back huh? i'm recording a video okay just right. just text me All my friends are like in town, like, but like a lot of my friends are in town. So yeah. Okay, and now, now I'm gonna go back with, um, I'm gonna go back first with the brush that I had all those red and on pinks on, and I'm just gonna kind of like right here. I'm just gonna kind of blend it right here, like that, like that, and do the same to his eye. Cause like you see, see how that brown and black is just concentrated on the end. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to end. Then I take the original brush that I did the orange on, the real guard or whatever, and go right above it and just circular motion, circular motion, circular, circular motions and like a windshield wiper. We going back and forth, baby, back and forth, and kind of circle with it. And now for now, I'm gonna leave it alone. So now I'm going in with my NYX, and this is like this is like my Mac paint pot this is the nyx eyeshadow base in esb03 and i think it's called skin tone so we're gonna go with that and i've had this forever as you see and it still works i don't know if you're supposed to change these out like i know foundation and mascaras like they have like a shelf life but i don't be listening to it so i don't know about products like this so now what i'm gonna do is i always hold my eye and i don't i know it's really bad for your skin because you cre you're creating premature wrinkles but hey Whatever's gonna get it done for me. So now I'm gonna go and I start like this. Then I'm like, I see where I want my crease to be. My natural crease is like, you see right there. You see that line? But I'm gonna take it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna follow my natural one. I'm gonna go up just a little. And I'm taking it halfway in and then I'm just gonna color it in. And if you didn't get that on this one, then we'll do, we got a whole nother eye to do. A whole nother eye then I just clean it up and this brush is like slanted I don't know if you can see it has so much product on it you can't see it but it's like slanted so it's like perfect for getting like that line like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then just take a little bit and then once I put my lid color on, I'm gonna go back in with that black and brown and get that together so boom that's really good. Let me just clean and then clean this line up right here. Boom. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Peach Palette. And I'm going to go in with my Elf Like Flat Brush. It's called the Eyeshadow Brush. So that's what we're going to go in with. Then we're going to go in with, it's called Bless Her Heart. I'm going to show you guys. It's this green right here. And I also have another green in my Tarte Palette. This is a Tarte this is Pro Palette. 
And um, I have this green down here called Trendy. So I'm going to see what this is looking like. But this is a little bit deeper, so I might layer it. Actually, I might put this one on first and then put that one on top of it because it's, this is deeper. And then this is a little bit lighter, so it'll bring it out. So I'm going to go in with Trendy first. And I didn't do this last time, but I just, I forgot I had this green. And I was using this palette the other day, honey. And I said, oh. I see what we're gonna do. So right now I'm just gonna put the I'm gonna put this darker green right here and I'm gonna put that lighter green right in the inner corner. So we're just doing that. And just literally follow what you and since look y'all I'm I've never been an artist, but I can color and start the line. So once you do your outline, honey, so just color it in. And then I'm gonna go in with Bless Her Heart, which is the lighter green. I'm gonna put that right in there. Right there in there right there on a the kisser honey and you see how it's like light and then dark so and then i'm gonna kind of like blend them on top of each other boom and like i said what you do on one math the only thing i remember from math what you do on one one side you must do onto the other so we're gonna do the same thing so if you missed it i hold my eye which i'm not recommending so if you start getting wrinkles and you be like wow i was listening to y'all tutorial hey look i'm telling you now don't grab your eyes because you're going to create wrinkles. But hey, this is the way I got to do it. Because y'all can't see. I wear glasses if you didn't know. So I'm going to take that. And then I just, boom. I start. And then I find my crease. See my little crease right there. Boom. And then I just color it in. You just following. Literally following the lines. And go like halfway. And then color. I know y'all can color. Y'all can color in the lines. If it ain't one thing I can't do. I mean, can do, that's color in the lines. And then boom. And then I'm going to just stop it right, right there. Boom. And then let's just fix this right here. Ha. Period. Then we're going to go back in with the dark brown. I mean dark brown to dark green. We're just gonna do this one right here. And like I said, you already created the map, so literally just follow it. Right, right, right. Then go on with Bless Her Heart, which is the lighter green. And I'm flipping sides, so one side I'm doing the dark color on, and one side I'm doing the lighter green on, so I don't mix them. Which it won't matter, because honestly, to somebody who don't do makeup, it's just going to all look green. But I can tell the difference. Then I kinda, I'm kind of blending it, too, all over with the lighter on. So, boom. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to go back into, this is the brush that I had the black on. And I'm just going to, I'm going to get a little, a little, little bit of the black. Cause a lot of that blending like blended it out. I'm gonna just dab it right there in that corner. I'm gonna dab it over here. And I'm going back in with my blending brush. And blend. Make a really just blending. Like I talk about this all the time on live. So if you can blend, if you got the patience, if you got a little bit of patience, then you can do your makeup. Even if you can't draw, because I can't draw honey. I can't draw work to nothing. So yeah. And then I'm gonna cut it. I'm going to cut my crease with a gold. But since it's Christmas, I didn't do this when I originally wore it either. But I'm going to put on a wing liner and I'll be right back because I can't do that on camera. Like, I tried last time and it's not cute. So I'll be right back. Um, Y'all, I'm going to just tell y'all about this because I'm I, I struggling to record it and do it. But I kind of already did most of it. But that line that was like I had made earlier from the uh my paint pot, my eyeshadow base. I literally just fo followed it. So where the green met the um met like the transition color, I just followed it. And then you see right here, I'm just why well, that's why I didn't want to record it because my mirror's right here and I gotta get super close. But I just followed it and put the glitter on, and I'm just meeting meeting that wing. So yeah. And I went all the way. Literally from the inside all the way out. So you can see that glitter. Just want to show y'all that. So I'm going to pop my lashes on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes on. So now it's time to wipe away out this powder. So I'm just going to wipe it. Wipe it away. 
has been sitting for, I've been doing my, my eye makeup for about 15 minutes. And I was listening to music too. In the meantime, between time, so. But I wipe, what I do is wipe most of it away. Then I go in with the um, beauty blender that I did my foundation with. So I just dab, you feel me? Just dab all that, dab all that. Then I will go in with my powder brush and go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And this is my regular stuff, so I'm just I'm just showing this y'all for kicks and giggles. But yeah, so like my my face routine didn't change. I didn't want to do anything extra because I'm not going anywhere. Like when I go out for New Year's, that's gonna be a whole nother whole different product. Still same process, different products. But yeah, then it just still looks like it's not all the way like blended to me. So what I do is I go in with my contour brush. I take a little bit of the contour powder. And this is L'Oreal Infallible and 800 Cocoa. I literally just where everything meets like I'm just kind of kind of bronzing now, not really contouring. And I just go all all over. Then I'll take a spray. So I'm gonna take my NYX uh, setting spray, shake, shake it on up. Period. Mm. Drench my face. Then I'm gonna go with the same sponge again, the foundation sponge. And dab like I'm pushing the product into my skin now. Y'all can see. Christmas week, and I'm gonna do one last thing to my eyes too. Well, a couple more things that I had fizz, fizz, fizzer, fizz, fizz a guy. How you be? How how does uh how Scrappy be saying his stuff? I fizz naive. I forgot. Whatever. I'm gonna do that. So now, highlight time. While my face is still kind of wet, I go in with my highlight. Y'all know that we we layer them up. So. Honestly, is my highlight out? I was gonna keep it simple. I was finna shake it up, but we'll do that for New Year's. We'll shake them up on New Year's. I'm just going to see family, so I need mean, they know I'm extra. So the Kim Kardashian of my family, and I just <sighs> is that the is that a Christmas light or is that Abby? You feel me? Mm mm mm. Shining like a Christmas ornament, baby. Put me on the tree. Cool. Then I go on with the Wet n Wild, crown of my canopy. Swirl, swirl, you feel? We gonna just, oh, uh, just go over it. Just, oof. Just over it in the middle. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Then I go back with my foundation, I mean my powder brush. I'm just kind of stampering. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. This is Club Popper, which is like a dark brown. And we just gonna. You already know what's going on. You already know. It's such an art. I still got glue. Yeah, I had glued my wig down the other day. And I got a little glue still on it. But, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm it's, it's concentration with this. Mm -mm -mm. And really, I don't even overdraw them that much. It's just like I go over the same area so much it makes it so prominent. And then I make my cupid's bow really prominent so that way it looks like, ooh, it's like, oh, they're going up so high. They really not. I just go over, I make these lines so dark, and then I come in, I make it so pointy. Like look like the McDonald's arches. Mm. Cause really overdraw would be like up here. We're not gonna do all that. You do like right here in the middle. Okay. Okay. And y'all, this would not be a Christmas. A Christmas get ready with me, talk through or whatever if I didn't do a red lip so this is 
American Doll, I already know, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we just coloring it in. I told y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Color it in. That's all you gotta do. If you can draw, if you can color in the lines, you can do your makeup. drive completely a look so I'm gonna make sure I get go over the line just a little so we can blend I think I'm running out this is like when you got mothers are huge but they're not small and just be you gotta make sure you get everything. Mm -mm -mm. Some of them started to dry, but there we go. Get that corner together. Then one little touch I think will be cute. I'm gonna take this white eyeliner by NYX, and I know y'all probably what is she about to? Oh, hold on. Not the last thing. I'm gonna take this black liner by I think Essence. It's so bomb. It was like a dollar. And I'm just going to do my waterline. Because you would have never thought that I was done. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a couple more things to do. So, yeah. Did that. Now I'm going to take this white eyeliner by NYX, like I said. And make sure all the excess is off. Take a good white out. And we're just gonna go right under that wing. I don't know if you can see it on this side, but you'll be able to see it on this side. So let me just do this one. So boom. And it's just to do a little touch. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing serious. So we're gonna do this other one too. Cause what you do to one side, children, you must do to the other so I think that's really cute then I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in with the glitter and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here cause this is like my signature thing to do then it's just the finishing touches then we're gonna do some mascara cause it's like you got these dramatic lashes on so you gotta do you have to do your bottom I mean, you should always do that anyway, but I know sometimes, sometimes it's not necessary. If you're doing like a, I don't know, it's always necessary for me, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going to do just a little bit, because these are mink lashes, my, <coughs> my, my mink lashes, and you're not supposed to put too much on them, so yeah. Then, set our brows with some brow gel. This is the OG. This is the, now this is the OG right here. We're going to use the OG, OG. This is the e.l.f. brow gel. And I always start from the ends and then just comb them up. This is OG right here. This is an OD with a goodie. My hair trying to get gelled out. It's trying to get gelled out, flued out. Then I'm going to take this brush. It's just like a flat brush. I'm going to go any palette, any bone color would work. I'm just going to take cream and I'm going to mix it with white right here, cream and white. And I'm just gonna, and they're literally called cream and white. And I'm just gonna to go right there over my brow bone just a little bit. And I just mix the cream with the white because I'm I'm a brown skin girl, and white on me will be real. Like you see how dramatic that is. Imagine they right there under my eyes. So the cream kind of calm it down. And yeah, honey. So I'm gonna go and do something about this. So hold on. So first things first, we're gonna take off this hair. Um, I don't know if this, I wanted to do like a three in one, but if this video is too long, this might just be another part. So first thing I'm going to do is, new Christmas gift. Um, I have my flat iron. This flat iron goes up to like 455. So I have it on 415. I would advise that you spray your hair with, um, heat protectant, but that mean I would have to get up and go get it. And my brother's in there and I just don't feel like doing that. So, 
what I'm going to do is, um, let me get my mirror together so I can see. I'm going to put one side in a ponytail and push it back. So just section it in half. Put this in a ponytail. And we're going to fix, don't even worry about it. This is a wig. So now, take this other side, split it in half as well. And I'm probably gonna speed this through. So like ooh, I feel like a track is miss a track is loose in there. Ooh, we do got a track loose, so we're gonna fix it. Um I hard glue my wig, so and I had I had to wash this wig and I didn't fix these tracks. So this, this is what we're gonna do though. We're gonna come back to that. So we're just gonna brush this on out, brush this section out. I don't wear this wig in a while, so it's a little wretch. So then we're just gonna literally just take a section. I do this. We're gonna see how well this fur down works, honey. Review. I'm just gonna go down. Oh yeah. Cool. So yeah, I'm just going to speed this up and let y'all watch. Now that I have it roughly flat ironed, um, I don't really feel like going back through it. Like I might, but now I'm going to do a couple things. So, usually I put my wigs on after I do my makeup, but since I was doing the video, I put it on before. So, what I'm going to do is move my wig back. So, oh, woo, honey. Um, but I wear, I wear a wig, I wear two wig caps. So, I'm just going to pull them down because they kind of slid back a tad bit. I wear like a black one and then I wear a new one. So then I have this thing called a wig grip that helps it not to slip. And as you see, I put concealer on the part. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to put some more concealer on that part or foundation concealer, whatever you want to use or you have. This foundation, I didn't really like it on my face because it was like really thick and like, 
it was just too much but for like my parts on my wigs and stuff it's thick it's good it's perfect for it so i just go over that little part that way you won't see black through my lace you'll see foundation you see my skin color skin color and i just kind of scoot it over Ooh, I put foundation on my. Ooh, let me get that out of there. All right, so now, it's off my hands. Okay, right. so now I just kind of situate that right there. Then I just pull the wig wherever the part is and pull it right on top of it. Then I make sure that the sides are covered up. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got this and I don't know how to cut it off. I mean, I probably can go in and do it, but anyways, uh, don't worry about that. So now. Whatever's left on here, I just go with my parties and I kind of pull it back a little bit too. I pull the wig back just a little bit. And then, like I said, it's not a wig, a wig laying tutorial. This is just the, I'm going, I need to look presentable. So now what I do is, if y'all want to see how I glue down, because my blonde wig, I have to glue it down. So if y'all want to see how I do that, we can do that in another video. So now I go in with what's left over and I just go over right here. The part where it meets right here and I just blend it in right right then then I go with my gossip weave glue the gel put like a little bit like a little and I just flatten flatten this take whatever brush I was using go over there usually if I had a wand I will plug it up and put the wand over it, but I don't feel like putting my wand on this. So I'm just going to take my flat iron and kind of go over it. It's not that bumpy anyway. So, because I kind of, what I did too when I got to the part is I get as close as I could and I kind of pull it down. So that way, it's not bumpy. So I just go in real close and just flat iron it. Then take the brush and just brush it over honey and boom there you go and that's good enough and then also I wanted to show y'all what I kind of did I kind of did it in the beginning but I don't know if y'all noticed it right here where like my closure is I got my closure shorter on purpose like kind of like layered I take the flat iron and I curve it out boom so it gives you like a little bang. I'm just gonna go over this real quick. But I did it to this side, and as you can see, it's like boom. And it's already laying, it's laying like that naturally. So boom. And this is my Eunice hair. This is Peruvian Body Wave, I believe. This originally was 30 inches, but I've had this for I've had this since last April. So what is it? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then it'll be January. So I've had it for nine months. So, you know, hair starts to shed. But it still, it still comes. When I first got it, it came to like a little bit past my booty. And now it's like right at my booty. So it lost a little length. But I mean, this to be expected. Its hair is going to shed. It's going to get old. So yeah. And I was wearing it like every day. So yeah, that's that. And I'll show y'all the outfit. And yeah. So let me go. Check. Yeah, so you saw the outfit. I don't know about the shoes. I think I might be just trying to do too much trying to wear my Uggs. But it is what it is. I might still wear them. But thank you for watching. This first one I did like 3 and 1. Merry Christmas. I hope you got everything you wanted. And um, if you didn't, I hope that you know you got your family because the the reason for the season is not forget not forgetting. It's forgiving and, re and realizing that Christ died for us. And if you don't believe, I'm not trying to push my beliefs on you, but I hope you're blessed to be safe and um, we go into this new year strong. I don't know if I'm going to have a video for New Year's because, honey, I'm going to be somewhere laid out. Oh, I got these for Christmas, too. And, yeah, so thanks for watching. Share with your mama, Jay, sister, cousin, auntie, y'all, your pets. I told you I don't judge. And until the next video, bye, guys.